This review is of Jungle Jim's International Market Chocolate Cannoli. I almost got the original style, which is dusted with the powdered sugar, but I didn't really want that. Um, I'm not expecting this to be anything special. It's got lots and lots of uh, cream cheese in it, of course, lots of dairy. So it's going to kill me, but um, I'm doing this for you guys. New no nutrition facts. It is vegetarian. Uh, it's also got eggs. It does have par partially hydrogenated palm oil. What the heck? Okay, so this has got trans fats in it. Wonderful. They destroyed the cocoa with alkali. Um... Man, oh man. This is just a festival of stuff that's not good for you. Corn syrup, corn starch. Um, hmm. Is there anything else? It's such a long list. Should not be this long. Partially hydrogenated soybean oil, too. So there's a significant amount of uh, trans fats in this crap. I mean, food. I mean, dessert. I mean, crap. Yeah, that was the right word. All right, let's give it a try. Hopefully, if I don't make any more videos, then I died because of this trans fat. <laughs> The shell is firm. It's not too fragile, which is wonderful. Because I want to eat it, not wear it. It has a nice lemony flavor to the cream filling. The chocolate, of course, is not good quality. They did line the inside and the outside of the tube with chocolate. So they did it in advance of filling it, which was probably a good idea. That helps to maintain the firmness of the shell. Now... I think I've only had cannoli a couple of times in my life. So I certainly wouldn't say that I'm by any stretch of the imagination an expert or connoisseur or anything like that. Or gourmet or whatever. I can say that this is a cut rate cannoli. Sorry, Jungle Jims. I mean, you're giving us trans fats in this <clears throat> and you use cheap chocolate and <sighs> the overall flavor could have been better, I think. I think a bit more lemon flavor would be nice. I'll give this a uh, six and a half. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day.